Austin, Texas, a place known for Longhorns, barbecue, and now the newest member of Major League Soccer, Austin FC. The home of this new team is Q2 Stadium and will surely encapsulate the culture and character of the capital city of Texas. Featuring a massive bullnose canopy, the roof structure is one of the largest in MLS and is designed to shade fans from the Texas heat as well as reflect sound back onto the pitch. And with a 20,500 seat capacity of loud, passionate supporters, that reflected sound is sure to make for a raucous atmosphere worthy of a city known for its live music. The Verde, as the club is known, is still young and green, but as the first professional sports team in Austin, there's a buzz around town for what this new home will bring to the city. On January 15th, 2019, it was announced that Austin FC would join MLS as the 27th club in the league. We are so thrilled to welcome Austin FC as MLS's 27th soccer team. And since then, Austin has moved quickly to set up a strong foundation. Its youth academy program began playing games not long after the announcement. And when the season ticket reservations went on sale, the club set an MLS record by securing over 30,000 in a single day. The headlines didn't end there, however, as the club announced an expanded local ownership group, including Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey as co-owner and Minister of Culture. Austin was a soccer town already, you know, before Austin FC came. It's a very diverse city. We have 150 people moving here a day. We've got people from all over the world in our city that have never had a reason or a team to root for that represented the city of Austin. We have our Texas Longhorns, and that's our university, and that's sports there, but we've never had a team that represented the city of Austin. And on April 17th, 2021, nearly two years after the announcement, that team took the field in their inaugural MLS match on the road against LAFC. In fact, the black and green had to play the first eight games of the season on the road. But on June 19th, they'll finally come home and host their first ever home match at Q2 Stadium. Stretch, drags it across to go, and he has the good news! With the first goal in Austin's history! A huge amount of care has been put into keeping fans cool throughout the game day experience. In addition to the massive roof structure, Q2 also features an open air design in each of the four corners and has been oriented in a way that allows for natural breezes to help keep the heat at bay. 6,000 lucky fans in the lower bowl will also be treated to specially designed mesh seats in an effort to stem the sweating in the stands. Supporters that won't have to worry about sitting will be found in the South End, a safe standing section made up of multiple supporters groups, including Los Verdes, Austin Anthem, and La Merga, the musical backbone of the supporters. You can plant the seed, but it's built by the supporters, given our supporters of Austin FC certain ownership and honor and privilege and influence and power, because um, they're who's going to be the, the, the lifeline of our culture off the pitch. On the field, one of the primary innovations is the field itself. The type of grass installed is called Platinum TE Seashore Paspalum. Q2 will be the first professional soccer stadium in the US to feature this type of grass, which is also expected to be used in the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's a versatile and durable grass variety that is able to withstand the Texas heat, but can also grow in the extensive shade of the roof canopy. All throughout Q2 Stadium, there are touches of thoughtful detail, from the local food and beverage vendors to the rotating mural space next to the Northeast Gate. This place is brimming with cultural ties to the community. We've been building this brick by brick. We've been getting our support person by person through the city. We understand it's Verde, it's Lisa's, but now it's live. I just got some chills saying that. And in a place long thought to be exclusively home to the Vert Orange of the University of Texas Longhorns, it will be fascinating to see how the Verde of Austin FC develops, both within the city of Austin and in the North American soccer landscape. <laughs>